Hi everyone, in this video we're going to do a fresh install of Java and Eclipse and we'll also see if you have an obsolete version of Java residing somewhere on your computer, how it affects uh, importing projects which are created with a later version of Java and how to fix that problem. So the first thing is just search for Java SE which is Java Standard Edition. It will take you to Oracle's website where you click on JDK download and choose the right version based on your operating system. Now I've already done that on my computer and it's JDK 14.0.2 OS X 64 bits. Double click on that to install and double click on the package and agree and if required, enter a password, admin pass, password, and successfully installed. You can go to the terminal and check Java hyphen version, and it says Java version is 14.0.2. So we have successfully installed it. We can also display Java home, which is an environment variable, and it shows you that it's library, Java, and so on. You can go to that directory and you'll see that I've got two JDK versions, JDK 9 which is like 1.9 and JDK 14. So now that our Java has been installed, again search on Google for Eclipse IDE or just Eclipse. If they do Eclipse's website over there you can choose download you can go to download packages if you want or you can just download the installer I've already done that and I have it in Eclipse installer max 64 we double click on that and open it It will ask you which Eclipse you want to install and the correct one is Eclipse IDE for Java developers. It will ask you which, which Java virtual machine is it that you want to choose as default. So please choose the latest one. All right, we install it. And launch. <clears throat> In COM 1010 you have a link for teaching resources and complete set of source codes. I've already downloaded this file in here. So I go to Eclipse, I choose my workspace Call it dummy. And click on Workbench to go to the project area. I then click on Import Projects, General, Existing Projects, Select Archive File, and choose the zip file that I've downloaded. It will have a tick mark against the project and you finish and when you open the project you'll see a long list. You can click on these three dots and choose hierarchical package presentation which makes it much easier to navigate. Go to practice package, introduction, tests attempts and just run the entire tests attempts package as JUnit test. You'll see that all 33 tests run. There are no errors which is a good thing 
but there are 33 failures, which is fine because we haven't completed any of the methods. If you go to attempts stage one, public int square int n returns zero to be completed. This function or method expects we expect this function to return the square of n, so we write n times n. We go back to tests attempts and run this, and now you can see there are 32 failures because one of the tests passes. If you go to the correct test file and double click on test square only and run it, it will isolate that method and just run that method. Similarly, if you double click on the test file and run this, it will run the entire test file. So I can select all and run this and it runs the entire test file. So that was a fresh installation of Java and Eclipse. But let's see what happens when you don't have, you have an obsolete version of Java and you try to install Eclipse. So I'm gonna get rid of my Java and I'm going to delete everything and I will remove JDK 14. So now I've got only JDK. If I ch check Java hyphen version, it's Java 9 only. So without installing the fresh Java, which is Java 14, we're gonna install Eclipse again. I could have just used the previous Eclipse, but yeah, whatever. So again, we install Eclipse. Eclipse ID for Java developers. Now the only one remaining is JDK 9. We install. And launch. <coughs> and choose dummy 2. Again, workbench, import projects, general, existing projects, select archive file. And in downloads, we are looking for the zip file downloading. Okay, so the project's still there. But you see that when we finish it, there is a red exclamation because the project was created with a later version of Java and uses uh, functionalities which are not provided in Java 9. So how do we fix that? Okay, so if you have uh, this problem, you can go back and again search for Java SA, Java SA, install the fresh version of Java as done before and that's your JDK 14, double click, continue, install Install succeeded. Check if it has been installed correctly, Java version, Java 14. But the problem is our project is still bound to Java 9. So you can double click on the project, build path, configure build path. We double click on libraries and it says JRE system library Java SA we edit alternate JRE 9.04 but because it has still not kicked in that we've installed Java 14 we search and it can find JDK 14 so here you would like to go to Java 14, Contents and Home. 
you can give it a name JDK 14 and choose JDK 14 apply and close and JDK 14 finish apply and close and it's there you might have a lot of exclamation signs, yellow exclamation signs, but that is fine. Yellow exclamation means that there are some things in the programs that it's not using. So for example, I'm never using the random class, which is fine. I can go to pra pa practice package, introduction, tests, attempts, and run this as JUnit test and it runs successfully although there are 33 failures. So that's how you do a fresh install of Java and Eclipse and also what happens in case you have an existing Java residing on your computer. Thank you.